Hello. Good to see you. All right there, Revenants. Welcome back to Code Vein and the Road to 100, where today we're going to be in the Crypt Fire. And um, what we're going to be going for here is more of a casting kind of gift only type of a setup. But we will have uh, the, the beautiful, beautiful Thunderbolt uh, bayonet here with us as well. Uh, just in case we get into trouble, we're going to run Louis here as well. And he'll uh, help us with his stack of overdrive, which will give us another 25% increase to our damage on our bayonet here and so that will be much 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 better for when we get into scrapes where we have one-on-one uh, -on -one with enemies and we don't want to use our gifts and we need to get health back by killing enemies so uh, this time uh, we won't be actually using our blood veil to actually get anything uh, back for health uh, what we'll be running here we'll be running uh, lifesteal for five percent on kill and we'll be running goddess's smile for about about 5% on kill, or on, on focus as well, so, um, or about 10% on focus uh, here. So we'll get about 15% here and there along the way. Um, uh, it'll be a really, really slow health recovery, but at least we'll uh, have access to it. So, um, and let's see here, we're, we're here, so let's go back to our attack code. And uh, you can see that the um, second escape uh, out of the menu there doesn't quite operate. So we're going to run Orion and Artemis as they are pretty good at uh, running casting uh, type sets. And so for, for these guys, uh, we can just run um, things like that and uh, just delete them uh, very, very quickly. And, but for the other um, for the other fellas, uh, as we go through here, uh, you'll see that uh, we'll need a little bit of extra uh, different ways of engaging folks through here. And uh, let's go for Icor Recovery for now. Uh, we do have a significant uh, reduction in our damage now. Uh, not on our backstabs though, which is very, very nice uh, because we can do this. And uh, we have no damage reduction. We can get a backstab, uh, and we can go for uh, another um, thing here. So our our attack set is uh, pretty uh, decent here overall. As we uh, get into engaging some of these bigger uh, enemies and such, and uh, we can absolutely go for you know all of the uh, I uh, the all of the I core uh, that we want to at at a moment here. Uh, just because of the fact of, uh, you know, we can, uh, whoops, uh, we can actually go for, um, you know, big amounts of I-Core recovery if we need to. Uh, so it's it's completely fine. Uh, what, what, how much uh, I-Core we use as we go along here, uh, there's really no reason for us to not use our, um, our uh, I-Core here. So if you notice, uh, it will go that uh, frost turret will go wherever our uh, wherever our revenant is actually facing, not where the camera is facing, but wherever our revenant is facing. So you can kind of steer uh, where you wish to shoot that. Uh, kind of interesting. Okay, and now for here, obviously we're going to go invisibly to uh, go for the um, black hunter here first. Okay, and we'll go for a backstab, and then we will go right into a uh, freezing roar here and uh, delete him get rid of him go for this and go for this okay and it is nice that we are uh, quick mobility all the time and uh, here we can absolutely go for uh, a couple of shots and you can see there that's uh, not whoa nice shot there Louis uh, that's not exactly the huge amount of damage that you would be maybe interested in but uh, the cool thing is here in this area we can do this and he will call the monkeys and yes please call the monkeys and uh, you can uh, say goodbye to the monkeys there uh, very very quickly and very very nicely and uh, they will disappear very fast in this room which is great um, because typically this room is uh, problematic to say the least now we'll see how we do here versus the invasion uh, typically this invasion uh, can either be uh, pretty easy or pretty deadly overall so uh, fortunately we haven't got hit yet to switch codes to our healing code um, so that's really really good and so we'll uh, stick with our attack code here 
uh, for now and leave the regen code for probably after um, this fight. Okay, and maybe we'll wait for uh, regeneration here. Now we have Blood Sacrifice just in the event uh, that we actually do need um, some quick i core overall. Uh, we can have access to that, but if we get enough backstabs and such along the way here, uh, we should be okay. Okay, and uh, you can see that we do have uh, plenty, 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 plenty of uh, damage that we have access to um, just from the fact of being able to um, get uh, i core back like this from these guys. And, uh, but in the event that we, oh, that we die, <laughs> or these kinds of things, uh, we will need to get health back now. Uh, so that will be, uh, let's see, this. Good. And, uh, every time we get a kill now, uh, we will get, uh, health back. So let's go ahead and, uh, shoot through these guys. Uh, that is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this and this. Okay, and let's go ahead and shoot these guys. And remember, we need to get focused and we'll get uh, health back. So let's go ahead and uh, go for a couple of backstabs here. So see, it will be uh, very, very slow coming uh, going through going through these guys. Okay, anybody in here? No. Let's go ahead and pick up some things here uh, along the way just so it's not uh, a pain here for us. Okay. Oh, ouch. Okay. And fortunately, these guys do stagger off of crush damage, which is what our bayonet is doing. Um, and uh, so that is really nice. Come on. Nice job, Louie. Oh, oh, he's here. I did not know he was here. I thought he was uh, not here yet. <laughs> okay. Nice. Definitely got lucky there on that one. Okay, and we'll have to try and uh, kill this guy here outright like this. Not uh, that way, but that worked. Oh, Black Raid Sword. How nice. Okay, good job, Louis. Alright, so we did uh, pretty bad there uh, overall. Uh, on that invasion, um, we, I mean, we survived, but the fact of the matter is, is we uh, need to get a lot of kills now in order to actually um, get back a lot of our health, and we need to do it at the expense of, like, i and stuff here, so uh, this will be interesting to see how it goes here, so we can trade our health now uh, with the uh, Cleansing Light at 5% uh, for uh, i and 5% on kill, so it's kind of an even trade but uh, it's not a good looking trade at the moment. So here, uh, if we get enough backstabs on this guy and uh, go for the kill on him, uh, we should be okay here, but uh, there's no guarantee. And this guy will only give us 5% of our health back, which is not a uh, good return here at the moment. Uh, so we do need to be a little bit careful here. And we'll open this door just to make sure that we I have it open in the event that we need to uh, get away from here. Now we can run that direction, so that'll be good. And uh, 8,500 uh, damage is pretty good. Please give me the kill, because I need that 5%. Okay, good. And uh, that looks to be um, 1663, maybe, maybe a little bit more uh, health here, and we'll... Uh, actually, right now will be a perfect time to switch to our uh, damage veil, or our damage code. We'll go for some i core here, and we'll do this, and this, okay, and then we will do this here. Good, and somehow uh, these guys uh, were not affected here, so we'll go ahead and dispatch them right quick and uh, that is the nice thing about the uh, crypt spider here is that uh, you can uh, kind of get rid of enemies uh, quickly and uh, effectively if you wish to um, but for some enemies it can be a real pain uh, and you'll see uh, some of that coming up here 
but it is nice that we do have overdrive from Louis, and uh, that will help us here with our uh, with our damage as uh, we're slowly, slowly, slowly uh, making our way here through the Crypt Spire. Now, the Crypt Spire is a pretty uh, brutal place as it doesn't have any real um, checkpoints along the way. What it does have is shortcuts that you can open up along the way, but uh, I never do the shortcuts because I consider it um, uh, not so like not part of the Road to 100. And so when I, uh, when I do these levels, uh, what I fo try and focus on is can I get from beginning to end in one life uh, on one, you know, run through uh, without actually needing a shortcut or saves or anything in between. So uh, that's kind of how I do it and that's how I've always done it and we're going to continue doing it that way. So, okay, so there's three guys here. So we will go invisible and a suppressor here and I don't have anything else. That would be of use, so we'll just do this, and then we'll do uh, this, and this, and we'll do uh, this guy. Okay, and he will uh, die here in a second. Good. And that is these guys, so, oh, a black bayonet, that's cool. Uh, so that's a good use of all our gifts that we had in there, but uh, we don't really have any... Um, access to anything else uh, from here on out so what we're gonna have to do is uh, go for some field of thirsts here and maybe potentially some other things so we'll see how this goes all right and we don't have a uh, or cross stream so we'll go for a backstab on the second bayonet up here okay uh, yeah but we'll get rid of this guy and then the other guy We'll just kind of walk around, okay? And then we'll get rid of this guy, and then we will go for uh, Shield Boy here in a second. Uh, oh, I was gonna say, he did he hit the just perfect area there? Okay, and uh, let's see here. I don't think I can hit that guy from here, and I can't lock onto him. Okay, so we'll just uh, head on up, and uh, we'll get our I-Core going here, and we'll get a Field of Thirst on him. And we should be okay to um, get enough uh, enough ability here on him that we should be able to, you know, stagger him and put him down here uh, easily enough. Okay, and the crush damage will help. Okay, and now you'll see that wherever wherever my revenant is looking, uh, the not where my camera is looking. Now, if I change directions over here, uh, and if I change over here. Wherever I'm looking, the uh, ice turret will uh, shoot little balls that direction. Excuse me. Oh, sorry about that big cough. Okay, need some water. Mm. Okay, so now we do need um, a lot of i here. here. Um, because we have monkeys and all kinds of things. Uh, so we will do this, and we'll do this for now, and we'll run over here, and we'll uh, try and get a backstab on this guy, and then we'll uh, put a uh, freezing roar into him. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is uh, kind of scratchy here at the moment. Okay, we'll do this, and uh, he will stagger here for the moment, and that'll help uh, get us a little bit of uh, i core there and we'll do this and then we will do this and then we will uh, put out um, a uh, frost turret here whoops I didn't mean to do that okay and then we'll uh, get rid of these monkeys and now we can do this uh, easily sometimes that second monkey gets stuck up there in the ceiling and other times he doesn't uh, so that was kind of interesting. Okay. So not bad here, but uh, we definitely don't have uh, the health that we need. Um, but uh, so right now what we could do is we could switch to Artemis and uh, we could go for uh, some damage here and then get 5% of our health back. And that would give us, you know, the ability to start clawing back on our health. We get 158 
on a kill. Uh, so it would take, you know, 20 kills to fully restore all our health um, from 0 to 100%. So we're, uh, we're 158, we're about, uh, we're about 20% of our health uh, there at, at uh, 600. And so we would need, uh, let's see, 80, so we would need 14, 16, 16 more backstabs, or 60 more kills in order to actually get all of our health back and stuff. So the Crypt Spire is a pretty, uh, pretty fun place as uh, it can be, you know, pretty simple and straightforward like this, or sometimes it can be absolutely uh, horrendous. Um, and it can uh, really lead to some uh, really bad encounters. For me, uh, typically backstabs or like a invisibility ninja kind of build or gifting uh, your way through it is a really, really good way to actually get through the Crypt Spire. Um, if you're going for actual physical attacks, it can be a lot slower. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, okay, so that was the Crypt Spire. We'll do the Cannoneer and Blade Bearer next um, with uh, double codes. I don't know if we'll do double codes on them because it's just an invincibility thing. Maybe we'll try for um, everything into one code. Uh, we'll we'll see about that, but uh, I'll, I'll have to think about it and develop a uh, setup for them. But then we'll do that and Mito next. And uh, for Mito, it'll be you know a, a different set of double codes, so it'll be two and then two. So uh, it'll be a, a little bit of planning here over overnight. So um, we'll uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow then, and enjoy these two builds and these two codes.